and welcome back to another Hyrule Warriors gameplay video. We're going to be doing the final 8-bit weapons for the next couple videos here. Starting off with, you guessed it, Link with his 8-bit fairy. So sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy this gameplay of Link and his 8-bit fairy here in Hyrule Warriors. Alright, here we go. Link and the 8-bit fairy. By the way, you might not see a chest opening animation here in this video. That's okay, it's just basically Link opening up the chest. Nothing different from it. His, he still has the um, Link costume. Nothing special, because the fairy doesn't open up the chest. But hey, that's what it is. Anyway, the 8-bit fairy, of course, is just a skin of the, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it, the great fairy. That you can unlock. It's, uh, it's not that good of a weapon, but there's some good moves. This one's okay, but the fairy can still get hurt. One of her best ones is um, the one you saw a little bit earlier there, this one. Where she drops the bombs. This is like one of the best ones to spam when you're inside a heap. But yeah, um, the 8-bit fairy, again, is just a great sky fairy, just... You know, 8-bit. And she carries around a bottle with an 8-bit Link in it, but Link's not 8-bit when he comes out. He just has the 8-bit sword, <laughs> which is cool. Anyway, I'll try to do the other combos that the fairy has here. Uh, right here. This, this move's okay, too. It sucks him into a whirlpool. Boom. Another good one she has, though, is... Um, the final combo. This one. Because he'll... Summons that thing. I think it's from Skyward Sword. It just... Wrecks... Just about everything. And... The reason why that one's good and the bomb one's good is because... The fairy is invincible... During both of those... Um... What do you call there? Animations. She's completely invincible. Oh, there was a... Turncoat Soldier I had to defeat him here. What am I doing? No way, that's you. It's you I have to beat. This stupid thing. Is this a Redead or is it a... Uh, what do you call it? Gibbo. Or Gibdo. Whatever it is, it's dead now. By the way, this is a mission from the um, recently released Majora's Mask. Um, pack. So, you might see me not get the A rank here, because um, some of these missions are kind of tough. And especially because the Great Fairy, as I said, just isn't that great of a weapon. Oh, you dropped the bombs. And she drops down on her bullet tucks. By the way, get used to Link. Because after I'm done the 8-bit weapons, I'm going to be doing some of my favorite costumes in the game. And Link has quite a few of my favorite outfits in the game. One of which, well, I won't do any double outfits that I've already done. Like, um, I'm not going to do his purple tunic again, his yellow tunic. Just the um, tunics that look good, you know. Like, um, I know I did a... Dark Link with the Dark Fairy. But, um, I thought I'd do a separate video for Dark Link instead. Because, you know, it's, it's Dark Link and it looks actually kind of cool. And you see Dark Link running around with a scarf. That's a dark scarf, you know. Oh, this fairy, man. I hate it. Remember how I said that, um, Rudo is the worst character? Technically, yes, the worst character with a single weapon. In my opinion. But, um... One of the worst weapons to use is this one. The Great Fairy. Then again, it, it could be good sometimes, but I just don't like it. But another terrible weapon is, um... Lana's Summoning Gate. Oh my god. You, you'll see that in another 8-bit video. But Lana's Summoning Gate is just awful. Ugh. Mass Jack can confirm that our forces are weakening. Yeah. Is there a turncoat soldier in here? Turncoat leader? No? Moving on. Oh, yep, there he is now. Stupid game. 
making me think there wasn't any turncoat leader. I do like the fairy's combo, which he slaps you up in the air and then kicks you down. Drop the moon. Yet, no, he's still alive. Let's uh, drop the bomb here. Come on, and he's dead. Good. Oh yeah, I can't recover after that. No, he's not dead. And he hit me. What a jerk. Huh. Uh, yeah, I defeated. Okay, I thought it said I discovered. I was like, wait, I discovered another one? Huh. Oh, and Sia's gonna be a pain in the ass to fight with the fairy. Because, um, the fairy is a water type element weapon, and Sia is a dark type. And, and again, my Link is powerful enough to practically kill almost anything. <laughs> I remember in my other videos I said I won't be doing a Master Sword gameplay video. I just might because one of the one of the um, things I got to do at Link is do a weapon. Oh look, you actually do get to see a chest opening animation here. Let's get it. Yeah, see, no great fairy. I should have wore the trainee tunic instead of just a regular tunic. Yay! Yeah, I kind of wish the fairy opened it up too. Wait, somebody at the allied? Yeah, there's enemies at my at the allied base. It's fallen. Damn. One of the keeps I capture has fallen. Anyway, who's gonna be the next 8-bit weapon? I don't know. I know I got Lana, Rudo, Darunia. Zelda. Which, by the way, spoilers for a coming up video, Zelda will be getting some more videos too because I like a lot of her costumes as well. And I might do a video for the characters that got a mask because in um, the um, Majora's Mask DLC, every character except for the DLC characters, Twilight, Midna, um, Tingle, Young Link. I think that's it, yeah. Because the uh, free villains get something. They all got a um, mask from Majora's Mask as a costume. And, um, beat the enemy commander. Well, I gotta go make sure Giri Game is safe. And some of the masks look pretty cool on the characters, others don't. I thought just for like one last hurrah, what Hyrule Warriors, I'll do. Costumes I like, and then like all the characters' masks, and then that's it. No more Hyrule Warriors on my channel, unless I get a request for something, which I will do it if somebody requests some Hyrule Warriors gameplay. But I get a feeling not many people are going to. Come here, you. I'll save you. All right, we got to destroy these peeps here. Drop the bomb because this is one of the best moves. Fi is in trouble. Where is Fi? Fi is somewhere around here. I'm not sure if, if she. F oh, Volga's here. That's why. Oh, Volga. You're a beast. But Link is a monster. When a monster fights a beast, the monster wins. Just saying that because Link is highly powerful in this game. Oh. Hello, Volga. Oh, he's spitting a hot fire, all right. Where is he? He's behind me. He hit me. We're still gonna try to go for the um, requirements for an A rank, though. Even though I don't need it, because, um... Well, hello, Volga. Ah! I don't need the A ring, because, technically, this isn't a Link mission, it's for someone else. As I said, I basically got all of Link's hearts, except for two of them. But I would not have been able to use the fairy for... Wow, that did a lot of damage to Volga. I would not have been able to use the fairy on those two missions. I grabbed something, apparently. And Volga's dead. What's at risk? It's not the allied base, I can tell you that much. Did, uh, did Fi die? 
No, there's five. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, the fairy's um strong attack that she does. She basically powers up, like makes her attack stronger, but she takes more damage. You know, it's one of those you raise your attack but lower your defense. Oh, look out! Drop the moon. We actually just keep here. Oh wow! A lot of KOs. All right, Girahim. You better stay good while I go defeat Sia. I know there's a boss battle. So damn it! Why is every freaking keep getting captured? I know I don't have to capture them all, but it makes it easier on all of us when the enemy has to deal with going through a keep instead of having not to when they go to the allied base. Alright. You might actually see Sia wearing her uh, mask that you can get for her from this new DLC. Oh, hello intro. She won't be wearing it in the intro though. She finds it hilarious. And again, you might not be able to see anything. No, she's not wearing the mask. Okay. Drop the moon down. Let's see how much damage this does without the weak point. Ugh. Power up. Alright, see ya. Come and take me on. I'll show you what's for. You know, the Great Fairy could be very, very useful if you had the, um... One of the new abilities, the um, one that makes your attacks come out faster. But I don't have that right now. I only have it for one character. And the lightning is... there we go. I have to say, uh, why is the lightning not hitting her? I don't care about the Hylian Captain. He's not one of the people I have to worry about. It's a uh, Giri theme. I'm going to save the Focus Spirit, just so you know. There might be some of you uh, right now going, Why aren't you using the Focus Spirit? I can't see a damn... There we go. Like, why aren't you using the Focus Spirit to attack her? Simple. Because there's a boss after I beat her, I believe. Alright, she does that. Summons the Dark Links. And weak point. Got it. Kind of wish the moon was 8-bit, too. When you use this weapon. And that did decent damage. I should do that more often. Let her do her thing. And then... And I don't think she's going to do it here. Oh yeah, she will. No, she won't. Damn. Instead, she lays the mines. And... I'm not sure if she does it here either. Nope. Oh, she'd do it here, though. But I'm too late. Oh, did I get her? Did I get her? I got her, but... Again, that barely does any damage normally. Oh, look out. And she is up and dead. Who's the boss I gotta take out? Or the big giant boss I gotta take out? Oh, you. The douchebag. Don douchebag. Where are you? And why can I fight you at? He's all the way near the Allied base. Okay, shortcut. If you haven't noticed, we're at a level that's based off a of Skyward Sword. Defeat King Dodongo. Got it. The entirety of Sia's forces are going towards Girahim. 
Yeah, Link and Giratine teaming up, huh? Only in this game. Alright, I'll let the dongle do that. I'll go see where Girahim is. He's over Meow. Cause if he... I know he was in trouble. If he flees, I'm pretty much screwed. I'll save you, Captain. I know I said I didn't care about you, but I'm gonna save you right now. And Girahim's a professional. He can handle himself. He's one of those allies that does good. Not great, though. Anybody's okay, played the story mode here with Ganondorf's story. Yeah. But uh, for adventure mode missions, he's usually okay. By himself. I defeated the big foe. Alright, let's uh, capture this part here, too. Just to get a little more blue in this section. And the boots. Here we go. And now Gearheim can take care of himself. Hopefully. Because this is the fastest the fairy can go. Who needs help over here and why? You. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna just take out these guys now. Phi is my second in command. Well, technically after me. And there's Douchebag right in the back there if you saw him. What am I doing in the water? No, bombs, of course. I don't know how to do bombs. The bombs are so spammable, it's great. Alright, Dodongo. Bring it on. As you see my pixelated buttocks. Oh, it's kind of hard to get the bombs into Dodongo with the fairy. She has a weird hitbox. And I got him in, yeah. Alright, dropping the moon on the dongo now. And anything in the way. Hope you're not sick of the moon. Uh, 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 uh. This move is usually good against giant bosses because it chips away at them. Notice how I said usually? I say it was good. Oh, the dog will just do the, just do the damn thing. There. So, there it is. Get over there. There you go. Whew, that was close. Power up a bit. Good night. Ah. And there we go. Right in the face. You know what? Do this. Summon the fairies. You fight those fairies. Load the dongo with kiss. Knock them out. You can't handle the pixelated buttocks of the great fairy, you know. It's more like a bug than a fairy. Yeah, I don't see me getting the A rank here. This looks like it's, or this feels like it's taking too long. Oh, why did I do this one? Playing catch with Dongo. Uh, dang it all. Turn around, thank you. I hope I'm saying his uh, name right. Is it the Dongo? Yeah, Du Dongo. I think that's how you say it. King Du Dongo. The Dongo. The douchebag, more like it, as I said. Oh wow, Link's gonna level up again. Link is always the one that levels up. Whether he needs to or not. God damn it, the dongle. Why aren't you dead yet? Is there any? Any? No, there's no. Damn. Looking for, like, special stuff to make my special go up. But anyway. Hopefully the bombs. Come on, do a little faster. Thank you. Huh. Might not even be able to see another weak point gauge break. Because, um, Dongle's at very low health. There you go, buddy. The music in this game is amazing. I love it. Almost slapped the shit out of him. Sorry for swearing. Good night. 
That's gay. Oh, thank you. And we'll just fly around here, see that lovely victory animation with the 8-bit fairy, and see what I get the rank for. Was a little disturbed by the eyes. Yeah, I've got to be because went over two minutes for the time. It's supposed to be at least 15 minutes. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed this Hyrule Warriors gameplay video with Link and his 8 bit fairy. Stay tuned for some more 8 bit weapons in Hyrule Warriors. My name is Clinkeroth. I thank you so much for watching.